So now we have also the little state, this little point uh, inside the scenario. So that's the feature of the scenario is that it comes with a little state at the beginning and you can also add other elements inside. That's what I'm going to do right now. If I click on the state, I can see I have three different uh, plus options to add something from that state. So I can just select the blue one and drag it along. And now I've created another little interval that will be played through time as well if I play uh, the scenario. Okay. There's another way I could have uh, done this. It's by changing the mouse state here and using the create function. So in, in here, uh, I have the mouse states and uh, one of the mouse states is just select as I did right here is what you use to select uh, any, any object you want. Right next to it, uh, if you are in a scenario, so you have to click inside a scenario to have access to the plus option, which is a create mode. So we can see on the mouse there that I have a little plus. And now if I click anywhere in the scenario, it will create another interval for me, right? So it's done exactly the same thing as if I'm just going to uh, control Z, go back, and I can do this uh, exact same action either by changing the mouse state and clicking or by selecting this first interval again and using this time the yellow plus, which enables me to do a parallel branch. And now I have two intervals. So now we see something a little interesting. Actually, uh, we see it at the beginning of the scenario here, but we can see it uh, maybe uh, later on if I add yet another branch at the end of this one. I have a plain vertical line. Actually, to see it better, for now, I'm going to remove the musical definition of time here that is, uh, is written uh, with the time signature. I can just remo remove this and get into a free mode by disabling the musical time here. So now I'm just in a free mode and I can see that it's, uh, it's more of a blank page. I can see that now I have created a vertical line here. So this line is called an event, as I can see uh, here. The event contains all the states. So the states are the dots. And we can see that we have states that are aligned and that are contained inside the same event that is this uh, plain vertical line. I'll explain again because I, I uh, sorry, I, I didn't explain it too good. So I can select this line here that is the event and that contains all three different states. So in a hierarchical order, again, you have first the event and inside you have the states, right? Uh, I can also use the little arrows on the keyboard. And if I go with the up arrow, I see yet another object that is higher on the hierarchy than events. And that is called sync. And this is a dotted line that we can see is under uh, the event here, we can see is the same dotted line at the beginning of the scenario here. And this is called a sync. For every vertical line, there's always going to be just one sync, but one sync can contain several events and uh, events can contain several states. I'm sorry, this is getting very technical and maybe uh, not very practical at the moment. I promise you, uh, we are going to go back to something more practical. I just wanted to show uh, just the, um, the, the vocabulary and uh, enable you to understand a bit more uh, what the objects are. And uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see them in action now. But all you have to remember is basically a horizontal line is uh, an interval. A vertical line can either be an event, or if I go even deeper, it can be a, a sync, what we call a sync, uh, this, uh, this uh, dotted line here. The sync is where everything is synced up, and inside the sync, you can have events, inside events, you can have states, which are the dots, right? Okay, so this is for the technical part. Technical part is over.